another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Dave and in this tip we're going to be talking about the difference between faces, features, and bodies. Uh, if you've used SolidWorks for any length of period of time you probably have a pretty good idea of what features are. Bosses, cuts, fillets, chamfers, uh, hole wizard holes, and so on and so forth. Bodies, on the other hand, can be solid, such as the one on the left, or surface bodies, such as that shape on the right. Why it's important is because we can manipulate either features or bodies. Uh, if we use as an example a pattern command, a linear pattern command, we can choose to pattern features and faces, which we'll get to the faces in a moment, or bodies. So if we use bodies as an example, select the surface body in this case, and we just as easily could have selected the solid body, pick a pattern direction, plug in the spacing and the number of instances, we can quickly and easily create a pattern of bodies. So that leaves us with faces. Why is it important to be able to manipulate faces? Where this is going to be most significant is in a situation where people have imported geometry and they need to make some changes to it. With imported geometry, all you see in the feature manager is an imported feature, if you will, not to confuse matters. But the point of the matter is there are no features listed that you can directly access. So we're going to use something called direct editing, which really is the ability to manipulate faces. One of the main commands that you'll be able to utilize in order to manipulate faces is the move face command. The name doesn't really fully describe everything you can do with a move face command because you can offset, translate, or rotate faces. So let's say we do need to make some changes to this imported geometry. Perhaps we want to take these two faces here and maybe these faces as well and move them all back five millimeters in a particular direction. Pick something to indicate the direction, plug in the, the distance you'd like to manipulate those faces, you'd like to translate them in this case, and say OK. And what we've done is we've just made changes to a model by directly modifying the position of the faces rather than directly editing any features. There's the original geometry and there's the new geometry. Thanks for watching, happy modeling, and please join us for more tech tips at caddimensions.com. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.